Hello, folks. Uh, welcome to Hearing Loss Chat. And today we're going to talk about those people who don't want to talk to us. <laughs> so we will have those people who will walk away from us, who will avoid us, who will do weird things. <laughs> so, so I wanted to talk about that today. And one of the things that's important for us to know is that it's more about them than it is about us. And personally, we have to try not to get, not to be reactive to that, uh, because something's going on with them that they walk away from us. The best you can do is, at some point, if, if you have the chance to let them know what's going to be helpful to you, just, just face you, um, not to stand too far away from you, uh, to speak to you in the same room, uh, you know, all those common sense things, you know, not to speak to you through a wall, <laughs> so, so that you really need, you really need to be in the same, in the same room at a reasonable distance uh, and for you to be standing in front of them, because I have a lot of people who are talking to me, and all of a sudden they walk away. <laughs> and I'm like, bye. <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> so <laughs> and I figure that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> so if they don't want to be repeating things, they got to be facing me in a reasonable distance. <laughs> So, <laughs> but yeah, it just happens more times than I would want to admit. <laughs> so when the person finally comes back, <laughs> say, okay, what was that second part you were talking about? <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, it, it people forget, People forget that we are hearing impaired in part because we hear well when they are doing what they're supposed to do <laughs> to help us hear. So, you know, again, it's, it's more about them than it is about us. Um, we are not doing anything wrong. We've already alerted them. You know, these are the things that help me hear if you walk away or if you're in another room or if you're on the other side of the wall or you're too far away, I'm not going to hear you. <laughs> so if you don't want to repeat yourself, these are the things that you can do. And some people, some people just don't want to talk to us because, oh, they're hearing impaired. Oh, they can't hear me. Oh, they, you know, and it's just whining and whining and whining and whining. And so... We find another person to talk to, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so, you know, I've had those people who, especially in a large group, who will not approach me because they say, oh, she's deaf. Um, she can't hear. I can't talk to her. Um, I'll have to repeat myself several times. Uh, you know, it's all those things that are annoying to them. And, and that's okay if they decide not to talk to me. There's a lot of people who will, <laughs> especially those people who know me already. So, um, you know, I, I just focus on the people who know me, who are open to talking to me, who know how, who know how to speak to me. Those are the people I engage with, <laughs> basically, <laughs> because otherwise I'm going to get frustrated. I'm going to get annoyed. I'm going to spill out all these emotions that are just not worth it. Just not worth it. So I just wanted to say to you, first, it's not worth getting frustrated over the person who won't follow those basic tips. Um, and for those who just don't want to talk to you because they see it's senseless, that, um, that it's useless, they can drift away. 
in my book. <laughs> they can just drift away. Um, because there are people who will speak to me and we'll have a lot of fun together. <laughs> and, you know, uh, life is too short, way too short, to, to spill, you know, the little we have onto people who refuse to, to talk to us in a reasonable way for a person with hearing loss. So I just wanted to say that, just kind of a brief video reflection today uh, for hearing loss chat. And by the way, my name is Lisa, <laughs> and I am the founder of Hearing Loss Pathfinder. I'm hoping you find these videos helpful, useful, uh, that uh, you can pass them along to someone else uh, that might need them, might need a lift. Uh, because they find themselves, you know, frustrated. Um, and your hearing loss is not your fault. So <laughs> that's another crucial message you need to tell yourself. My hearing loss is not my fault, and these are the techniques I use to be able to communicate with others, and, and this is what I will share with them, you know. So uh, I'm hoping your your path is, is brighter and more joyful after hearing this video. I hoping, I'm hoping that this video was helpful. Uh, feel free to like the video if you'd like to help. Um, that is like the most helpful thing for me right now and my channel for likes and comments. So that would be awesome. Uh, also, to uh, look at uh, any of these videos that pop up here at the bottom. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and spending a few moments with me. Take care.